hey y'all bring it in bring it in so welcome back to another video this is my one pot meal chicken and rice and it's dinner in 30 minutes so um what i did is i just took some bone-in chicken thighs season them well clean them season them and all that and i got um a little bit of olive oil in my skillet and i'm going to fry um well brown my bad y'all brown both sides of my chicken this is my first side i seasoned it really good again i got like a couple tablespoons of olive oil in there so we're gonna get it nice and brown on both sides and um yeah and then we don't flipped our chicken so this is our chicken on our other side um we're just going to let it brown on both sides for about what five to six minutes i want to say and um after that, we're going to start getting everything together. I'm not going to lie to y'all. It is, it is so different doing this voiceover. But if y'all could just hear how loud this chicken was popping, it was just too loud. So I removed my chicken, put it on a plate. Um, I emptied some of that grease out. But the rest of this, like my mom would say, we'll call it yum yums. All that is down there is flavor in the bottom of that skillet. So I am going to throw a little bit of butter and my skillet get that spread out around a little bit with my wooden spoon of course because i'm going to get all my yum yums with my wooden spoon and then i got me some peppers and some onions that i'm going to add and i know y'all listen listen i had to put my uh phone down a little bit to get the rest of them onions out because i think i'm gonna add like some red onions too to my um skillet and what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna like saute them because they're going to go into our dish. So that's why we're having a little moment right now. <laughs> See, I got my red onions in there. And I got um, with some butter. And then I have like this really good, I want to say it's my basil paste. It's like the garlic paste except it's basil. And it is a wonderful game changer. I'm telling you, when you add this in your stuff... You don't need to like season your vegetables. I promise you don't because this takes the place of it and it just enhances that flavor so much. So I just did like a couple of drops of that in there. And then I'm going to mix that in really well together. Get everything nice and combined. Some of my vegetables are getting nice and sauteed. So I got my green peppers, some red onions, some white onions in there. And I'm just going to mix it around and all that yumminess all those yum yums like my mom would say um from the bottom of the skillet from our chicken just make sure i'm getting everything incorporated and then i'm going to add me some chicken broth yeah i'm going to add me some chicken broth because that's really going to um flavor everything up and i'm going to add me a pack of rice too i'm sorry y'all i'm talking like low key ahead <laughs> i'm gonna add a little bit more chicken broth because um, I'm going to put my rice. I got a packet of my rice. I'm going to add that in there after I get done stirring everything in with that chicken broth. My vegetables, those yum yums, that basil paste um, with the butter. All of that is going to be my base for this one pot chicken and rice meal. So um, I'm just going to keep on doing that. I'm going to turn my eye up a little bit more. And this is my rice I'm using, the chicken flavor. Just a pack of rice. You could do a pack of rice. You could do bag rice. You could do any rice that you like. That'd be your business, like Aunt Tab will say. I really need to just stop playing and just be getting her merch, like her shirts. Huh? But Aunt Tab be a little pricey for me, me personally. But I need to do something because, like, I just need to. But, yeah, we're going to pour that rice in there. And then we're going to mix our rice in really well in that chicken broth. We're just going to flavor up that rice. Let me tell you. So we're going to mix everything in just like that. And then um, yeah, we're just going to mix everything in. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my chicken back in my pan. I'm going to tell y'all something right now. I cannot wait to get me a skillet with a lid. <laughs> okay? Like, it's one thing trying to make it work. But when you just have the skillet to the the lid to the skillet, it just makes everything so much better. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. Like, I can't wait to do it. I can't wait. Because for some reason, when they be selling the pots and pans with the gift set and stuff, 
I hate how they don't never be having lids for my skillet. They have lids for the Dutch oven, lids for the saucepans, but they don't never have a lid for the skillet. That'd be burning my spirits up. So I will be getting me a nice skillet. I already seen one on Amazon. I was telling my man about it. I can't wait to get it. But ooh wee, I can't wait to get it. But yeah, we're just mixing everything in again. You see those red onions? Y'all, those red onions is a flavor enhancer. Let me tell you. Oh my word. So we're just going to, I think we're about to be adding our chicken back in. Let's see. Not yet. Maybe. <laughs> when we're going to add our chicken back in. I think we're about to do it now. Okay. Yeah, we're just going to add our chicken. Place it right on top. And it's going to finish cooking because we just browned it on both sides for a couple minutes on each side and these are bone in thighs i can't believe y'all i didn't give up on chicken but it ain't right for me no more so i'll be making it for the boys but i'm always having to substitute or find out what i'm going to eat so i was supposed to be making my shrimp lo mein but y'all ain't doing all that tonight i'm just gonna do me some leftovers for tomorrow and keep it moving um and then i want to say this is our finished product y'all let's remove this lid look at that steam is like steaming steaming but that's our one pot chicken and rice y'all see the green peppers in there the red onions there's white onions the chicken broth rice absorbed all that chicken broth we got some green beans with some red onions and that's cooked in chicken broth with some butter some seasonings and y'all this meal was so simple it was so simple like because i don't know like when you put your bone in thighs in the oven like i wanted to do some baked barbecue chicken but they was talking about you gotta have it in there for an hour i'm like no we are not doing all this we ain't got no hour to do we're gonna do a 30 minute meal <laughs> and we're gonna get it done in 30 minutes and that's exactly what we did that's exactly what we did so um yeah pretty much this is our one pot meal chicken and rice and our green beans and i think okay so let me tell y'all what happened what happened was when i was doing my video originally you could hear how loud the chicken was cooking like you could hear the grease popping and i was trying to talk over i said no nah, i ain't doing that i ain't doing that we just gonna do a voiceover and that's what we're doing so i want to say this part of the video i was just letting y'all know how i did everything step by step but can we just get into that rice it's so fluffy it's flavorful and it is so good it's literally cooked to perfection like it was really really good y'all but yeah these voiceovers <laughs> they don't be for the week because i know when i was doing this video i was going through step by step how i did it i know i was that's why it's taking forever saying on that one part of the slide but yeah y'all and i had did another meal too i did one more turkey sausage and rice but man man's going in on it he really enjoyed it he wasn't playing no games the green beans was green beaning oh and y'all i didn't even have my turkey meat either to flavor it up it was given the green beans was green beaning <laughs> the green beans the meal was milling Everything was just doing what it needed to do, for sure. Had the pink lemonade go 